Hello, my Libra loves. Welcome to Libra Life Tarot. Thank you guys so much for coming through, clicking on the video. Um, we're going to go ahead and hop into the messages, y'all. already know these are general. Only take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? Get in where you fit in. Um, If you need to switch the roles to, to apply it to your situation, if I say he and it's she for you, feel free to switch the energies. Masculine, feminine energy can be switched. Um, time and energy are fluid, so this can be past, present, or future energy that I am picking up on, okay? I apologize for the darkness, guys. Something's going on with the light pole, with the light people. I don't know if somebody hit the pole. Or what's going on, but somebody did something and they got to fix the light. So nobody on my street has lights. So. Or the next couple of streets over, I don't think. So I just came in here to do a reading for you guys. All right, so let's get into it. Holy about spirit, guardian angels, ancestors, spirit guide, spirit team. Of the highest white light, please be with me during this reading for the Libra Collective. Please help me to use my intuition to gain clarity and understanding. And please help me to interpret and convey the messages accurately and clearly. Thank you for your continued guidance, support, protection, and love, Holy Spirit. I pray that no weapon be formed against us shall prosper. Any negative energy, entities, evil, eyes, spell work being sent this way, I ask that it is returned to sender and or transmuted into more positive energy. Ashe, amen. All right. So, Libra. See what's going on. What are the messages? This is for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Anywhere that you have Libra in your chart, you may resonate with this reading. Cross watchers, what's up? I see you. Let's see what is going on with Libra. Bottom of the deck. Judgment. Somebody may be being called to judgment. This could be talking about someone going through a spiritual awakening. Um, this could be someone um getting being judged for something that they did. Mm, mm, this is some ooh, Libra. Hold on. I guess we're pulling from the bottom because this is some strong energy. There's definitely an awakening of some sort, a major trans change or transformation that's coming to you, Libra. Because there are four major arcana cards out here. And we ended, I stopped pulling at the at the Queen of Swords, which is your energy, okay? There are some major changes or transformations going on with you, Libra. I just heard a rite of passage, rites of passage. I'm getting like ascended master type energy. I don't know if you may have some very strong ascended masters around you, Libra. Doing things on your behalf, but you're about to come into some sort of abundance, Libra. Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords are the only minor arcana cards here. You got the Judgment, the High Priestess, the Hierophant, and the Death card. Okay? Now, one thing that I am getting is that there is some major protection around you. Okay? Some very strong energy. I'm hearing Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel. I'm hearing Zion. I don't, I'm not familiar with the Zion or what Zion is or who that is, if that's an archangel or not, but I'm hearing that Zion, like Z-I-O-N. Somebody may tell me what that means. I may look it up. I can't right now, though, because I have no power. We don't got no Wi-Fi, okay? <laughs> but I'm also picking up that somebody's being called to judgment because they were paying someone, somebody paid somebody a lot of money, a practitioner, to do 
And you got the high priestess and the hierophant out here, which is like energy. Okay. So you, somebody was paying somebody, some high priestess and or priest, a lot of money to get rid of you, Libra, with the death card here. Okay. Now, this could have been a Sagittarius, a Virgo, Taurus, Pisces, Scorpio, maybe another Libra, but I'm not really feeling that. But I'm feeling that you are defending. I feel like with you holding up this sword here, I don't think y'all can't see. All right. So Libra, I feel like everything that these people sent to you, there was some very strong energy that was sent to you, but it bounced. You know, the, the, the Queen of Swords holds that sword up. And it's like all of that energy bounced off of that sword and ricocheted backwards. So whatever it is, is backfiring. And it's because of this strong amount of protection that you have around you. There's some major, major protection around you, Libra. Okay. Yeah, look, I can't even. Now somebody regrets sending you this daggone energy. Mm -hmm. Going broke. Doing spell work on you. Mm -hmm. Damn queen of wands. Look at that shit. Yeah, now this person, now somebody's in regret for sending this energy toward you because it's backfiring. Okay? And they, they're going broke. They didn't spend all their money trying to do this spell work. Could be a Queen of Wands energy that got a problem with you, Libra. Falling right underneath the Queen of Swords energy. Somebody's in regret. Somebody also told this person that they couldn't do something to you or that they won't or that they can't. I just heard that, like, I can't can't do it anymore or I'm not going to do it anymore or something like that. Somebody wants somebody to keep trying to send some type of energy to you. Whoever these uh, practitioners are who this, per this person or these people were working with, they could have gotten hit with some of the reversal energy here, okay? And they just like, yeah, no. Well, I'm not going to you know, not going to do that anymore. <laughs> Yeah. You broke some type of cycle, Libra. You broke a cycle. Something is also coming to an end with the four of wands situation. Could be a marriage. Okay. Um, somebody is hurt, heartbroken. And I feel like it's because you have new love coming in. You got something new coming toward you, Libra. Somebody's heartbroken over this. Okay? And they're heavily burdened because of the spell work that's backfiring. And I strongly feel like it's another woman here with this Queen of Wands who is sending this energy to you. Could be an Aries. But whoever it is, they're heavily burdened now because you're getting a new beginning. They're heavily burdened because you're getting a new beginning. Yeah, Will of Fortune, because this is what was destined to you. The Will of Fortune with the Sun card, okay? This is what is destined for you. It's happiness, greatness. Like they, what? Shaba. Yeah, somebody's in despair now over your new beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, whoever was sending you this spell work manipulation, you about to have a whole new beginning, Libra. Whole new start. Manifestations coming in. Protection. Abundance. Divine protection. Abundance and everything is coming to you, Libra. 
And whoever this person or these people are, about to be in a whole lot of despair. Or they already are. Let's see. Yeah, somebody wanted you to feel stuck or trapped, but you're coming out of that energy. Mm -hmm. Somebody working on something, child. This could be you working on something. Or somebody's working on something behind your back. I just saw the king and the queen of swords. The nine of swords trying to peep out, jump out. Somebody's in some type of despair. King of swords is on the bottom of this deck. Could be dealing with another air sign. Or this might have something to do with your, with your counterpart or something. Because I distinctly just saw the king and the queen of swords while I was shuffling this deck. And then the last card, the Queen of Swords is out here. So you have the King of Swords on the bottom with the Three of Pentacles. This talks about a collaboration and somebody ready to work with you, okay? Yeah. It's, mm, somebody could have been confusing someone about their Ten of Cups, who their person was. Yeah, somebody wanted to steal your opportunities, your abundance. Your, yeah. Mm -hmm, okay. I heard your free will as well. So somebody wanted to steal your free will too. They didn't want you to be able to make any decisions for yourself, Libra. Somebody wanted you like in the crazy house or something like that. Like they wanted you like people to think you were crazy and incompetent so that you couldn't make your own decisions. This is giving me, oh, you know, Britney Spears when she was under that, was it, uh, not censorship. What's the thing called that Britney Spears was under with her dad? It's not censorship. Courts. I don't know what it is. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But it's like like that type of energy. Okay? So, I don't know who this is. This could be a family member. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see. Why is this judgment card here? The Hermit. This is definitely, oh, y'all can't see, I'm sorry. The Hermit and the Judgment, yeah, this is definitely giving me spiritual awakening. This is a journey. Um, you guys are going through an awakening. You're isolating yourself. You're healing um, and things like that. And you could have turned away from a lot of people because I feel like a lot of things have been illuminated to you about certain people, situations, okay, things like that. I'm hearing about a home. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Hey, something about Jersey. Somebody could be from New Jersey. Or something about a Jersey. Something about Michael Jordan, 23. I don't know what that is, child. Something about 23 could, could be significant for somebody. 13, 33, as I looked up on the timer. Four swords clarifying this uh, Ten of Pentacles. Four of Swords is healing. That's another healing card. This may have something to do with a family, like family business or something like that. I don't know what that is. Six of Cups. Somebody that you know, somebody from your past, Six of Cups, this has something to do with them. Somebody that you walked away from, okay? And then there's that Queen of Wands. Mm. Yeah, nine of, nine of Cups to the devil. Ooh, to the moon. Oh, my gosh. To the deck card. Yeah. Man, listen. Okay. Okay. So, again, like I said, somebody paid a lot of money because this Four of Swords card talks about healing, but it's healing after some type of heartbreak. We got the Three of Swords out here or some type of hurt or some type of illness. It could be talking about somebody needing to heal from an illness or something like that. Or, um, this also is a going within card though, just like the hermit card. But I am really feeling like somebody was paying a lot of money. Whoever this queen of wands is, is somebody that you walked away from eight of cups, somebody that 
you know, you no longer dealing with or something like that. This whoever this queen of wands is, okay? And I feel like they were definitely doing something to try to end you with the devil card, the moon card, and the death card. Mm-mm. That's too, that's no. Whoever this is, they were in a very toxic, nasty, narcissistic energy, okay? They were trying to slow things down for you, cause endings for you. Yeah, cause you to miss out on opportunities. They wanted you in legal trouble and all type of stuff. What's the high priestess? Mm, y'all see it? Y'all can't even see. I wish y'all could see. This card landed on me just like this. Y'all see? It was in my arm. <laughs> the Knight of Wands. Okay, the Knight of Wands is that, you know, that, that, that in and out, that player type energy, the one night stand type energy, okay? But in this card, he looks like he's trying to pull back. He looks like he's trying to hold back. He almost looks like he's in the Knight of Pentacles energy, which is slowing something down, um, something being stagnant, taking your time with something. It's almost like there's somebody who wants to rush in real quick with some heavy sexual energy, or they normally would, but they're trying to, they're kind of pulling themselves back now, okay? Um... It's secrets, though. The high priestess can talk about secrets. And it does talk about intuition. Somebody's holding something back. Somebody could be hiding the fact that they have an STD or something like that. Um, somebody could be hiding the fact that they... That somebody could be trying to get you pregnant. That could be, like, what they're, you know, I don't know. With the seven of pentacles on the bottom here. Magician, Knight of Cups. The lovers. Child. Somebody may be trying to somebody may be doing sex magic on somebody. What's the hierophant? I just heard it's cheaper to keep them. Somebody may be doing some sex magic on somebody or they did. Look, the judgment card flew over there damn near on top of the other judgment. So, yeah, somebody's definitely being called to judgment for something that they did here. This high priestess, hierophant energy. This could be a couple. This could be a couple who, who were doing things to people like spell work or like sex spells or... Something, child. What in the hell is this? Somebody is definitely being called to judgment for something that they were doing here. What's the death card? The damn hierophant. Right beside the damn hierophant. This could be an ending to like a marriage. There may be an ending to a marriage or something like that. Look, the Empress is on the split. The Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody was trying to send you this negative energy. And you got wind of it and it's a return to sender. Or either it's going to be revealed to you that somebody was trying to keep you caught up. Eight of Swords, but you're protected, Seven of Swords. And now you're about to sit back on the sidelines and watch. Or somebody's going to have to watch you get all of this happiness and abundance here. And everything that they sent towards you is coming back to them. For some of you, this is a couple. Like a... Like a... a, a Like a witch warlock type couple. Oh, shit. Why's the queen of swords here? Child, look. The damn queen of wands. Fell face down on top of this three of swords. I'm telling you. 
For some of y'all, this may be another damn Libra. Or this somebody with Libra in their chart. Libra and Aries. Heavily. How you got the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands right underneath the Queen of Swords. And then the Queen of Wands coming out here on top of the damn Queen of Swords. There's a Queen of Wands who is definitely going to some type of practitioners or they have in the past doing something. And this is somebody that you know. Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Somebody that you walked away from. That's planting these seeds. Yeah, the, the Seven of Pentacles to the Magician. Yeah. This might be somebody you drank with or child by. What the hell is this? Y'all got to give me something else for this Queen of Wands. Why is this Queen of Wands out here? What does this Queen of Wands have to do with this Queen of Swords? What does this Queen of Wands have to do with this Queen of Swords? Child, Eight of Swords. Trying to keep this, trying to trap this Queen of Swords or keep this Queen, have this Queen of Swords caught up in something. What is this that flipped over? Six of Swords. I don't know when that flipped over. I'm going to turn it back. Yeah, this Queen of Swords is trying to do something to get this, this, I mean, this Queen of Wands is trying to get something to get this Queen of Swords caught up. Eight of Swords. Trying to keep them trapped or stuck or, or have them like mentally unstable. Didn't I say something about that in the beginning? Somebody wanted somebody like in the crazy house or some shit. That might have been in the last reading I did. I don't know. But somebody wanted somebody up in their head, mentally unstable. I'm also feeling like this Queen of Wands energy is really up in their head when it comes to this Queen of Swords. I don't know why. I just feel like there's beef. What's the beef between the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands? What is the beef? I'm getting lover's energy. What's the beef? Or something about a man. <laughs> Two of Pentacles and the Fool card. Alright, so. There could there's some something about an imbalance. The two of pentacles can talk about juggling a situation. The fool card talks about having a new beginning. Somebody may feel like this queen of swords left them out in the cold or, or shut them off or something and ran off to have a new beginning here. There could be a Capricorn, Aries, Gemini, Virgo involved in this. Whatever this is. I'm so confused right now. Okay. Yeah, four of cups fell on top of the eight of pentacles. I mean, the ace of pentacles. And the ace of pentacles talks about new opportunities, meeting a new person, new beginnings, prosperity, and abundance. Four of cups is about missing out on something. So somebody definitely wanted, uh, this queen of wands definitely wanted this queen of swords to miss out on something here. Yeah, the moon card. That's what the fuck is being hidden. That's what the fuck is being hidden. There's definitely some spell work manipulation going on with the moon out here twice in both decks. But, ooh. What the, y'all? I just dropped all my damn cards. Oh, somebody just want me to be quiet. And this shit ain't even making no damn sense to me. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my cards. All right. I got them. I picked them up. Yeah, there's definitely some. Let's see what this damn moon energy is, damn it. Since y'all want me to. Since somebody want me to just be quiet. What's the moon energy? Why is the moon out here twice? What is this moon energy? Let's clarify the first moon. I'm going to leave this four of cups right here where it fell on top of the ace of pentacles. What's the moon card here? Mm. That shit popped up, hit my lip, and fell in reverse. <laughs> want me to be quiet? I'm telling you, look. Queen of Swords in the damn reverse. And the Three of Pentacles in reverse. That card was spinning. I don't know if y'all know this card was spinning. But somebody don't want somebody to work with you, collaborate with you, or come towards you. Page of Swords, they're watching too. This is a stalking ass energy. Nine of Swords. Somebody all in their head here. Okay, it could be a family member. Oh, somebody trying to block some shit from you, Empress. Okay, so now you got the Queen of Swords showing up in the damn reverse. This is Queen of Swords in the reverse? 
man. Uh-uh. Somebody. Oh, okay. That's what it is. So this Queen of Wands is trying to, yeah, they don't want this Three of Pentacles or the whoever. I don't know. I, this guy got to be. I, I heard it had something to do with the masculine. So they don't want this person to work with you. Three of Pentacles coming out in the reverse. Could be a Capricorn, um, Pisces, Aquarius you're dealing with, a Cancer, or another Libra, okay? Um, it could be this masculine energy. But they don't want, this Queen of Wands does not want this masculine energy anywhere near you. So they want, instead of seeing you as the Queen of Swords in the upright, okay, they want them to see you as the Queen of Swords in the reverse, which is a very manipulative, very mean, very nasty energy, okay? This person showing up as the Queen of Wands in reverse twice, but the moon is out here twice too. There's a lot of deception going on. I just feel like a lot of lies and a lot of deception going on here. Clarify this point, this moon card. Shit. Five of swords to the seven of cups. Yeah. Trying to freaking confuse this person. Manipulating this person. Trying to confuse them. Five of wands is on the bottom of the deck. Okay? Confusion. Competition. Yeah, this person, whoever this masculine energy is that this is about, this person, this queen of wands energy is doing spell work. They're enlist, going to other practitioners. This is tying in with that dream that I had. If I haven't posted that video, um, that reading, then I will. But this is tying in with that type of energy, okay? Somebody, um, whoever this is, they wanted someone to see you as the opposite of what you truly are, okay? They wanted someone to see you as the opposite of what you truly are, all right? Who is this masculine? He's not showing up, but I, I just feel like this is about a masculine. Who's this masculine? Seven of Wands to the Justice could be another Libra, could be um, a Leo. It's somebody that's protected. Who's this masculine? Yeah, heavy on the Leo energy with the strength card here. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Okay. So this masculine, yeah, five of wands in the reverse. <laughs> so this masculine masculine could be another Libra, could be a, a Leo, um, a Capricorn, Sagittarius, Virgo energy. Okay. Heavy, heavy Leo energy though. All right. Yeah, whoever this masculine is, I feel like they want to make amends with you. They want to come toward you. And this person is doing everything that they can to stop it, to hold them back, to slow them down. I'm telling you, that's what this is all about right here. The main thing has to do with, with the masculine. I feel like this masculine is in some type of regret here, okay? And they want to come towards you, but there's, I'm telling you, something, Ace of Swords, that's the truth. There's some shit going on behind the scenes here that this Queen of Wands energy is doing. This person, yeah, Eight of Wands to the Six of Cups, this person wants to come in and reconcile with you. And they're trying to walk away from this situation, but baby, this Queen of Wands is is is, is queening and wandsing right now, all right? I got to go, y'all. Bye.